I guess you wonder what's gonna happen next, Diddy. I know. So, ladies and gentlemen, Diddy meets the feds at the airport, and it's not what you would expect or think it was. Many people said Diddy was going to be arrested. He was going to meet his situation or his fate, but looks like he was in some type of conversation with the feds at the airport that kind of went left for a little bit while i'm gonna explain to you guys why it went left so anywho you know about the raid that took on diddy's palaces i called them instead of mansions at la and the one that was the island in miami well they raided all dad embarrassed him embarrassed his family his staff members well now diddy goes face to face with them same people at the situations where he didn't want to venture off to meaning that diddy got to face the consequences of his actions finally to what some people may say so diddy meets them they startled everybody on board and they make them get off and question them so diddy face to face with federal agents monday as they intercepted his plane and tmz has now has a photo basically showing the interaction this is as his associate was taken into custody we're gonna go and follow up on that too that's brendan paul he had some narcotics on him and you know they had to take brendan paul and get him the hell out the way now let's look at these pictures first and a video before we continue on so the first picture at the airport you see diddy just glantedly pacing and standing still as he's seen everybody looking at him you can see his friend paul over here being accosted by some of the agents and i don't know what the conversation is about but i know they did use his attorney to say this is the government trying to railroad him because you've never seen these procedures taken uh being taken for people who are actually more violent and crimes that can actually be proven and it's it's just wow man our taxpayers our money goes towards wasting funds on things like this because they didn't even charge diddy wasn't even arrested at all but you can see it in the pictures here as this is a spectacle right now ladies and gentlemen it's becoming a show and i don't know if the people who are involved even care about the victims at all it just seems like a fancy show to get more attention for something and i don't want to go deep into secret meetings of groups or whatever but this was definitely something humiliating and now at the airport to be seen like that there was a video of a gentleman recording diddy at the airport and watching his movement as he was pacing around i guess you wonder what's going to happen next diddy i know As you can see, Diddy looked very stressed in the situation. You all know about his house being raided, everything being ransacked. Well, his friend, Brendan, that is, uh, was basically arrested for narcotics during the situation. They found things on him and he's 25 years old and they look at him as also someone in the mix. Um, judging by what allegations were said about Diddy, they were saying he keeps certain young people around him who carry his uh, uh drugs or whatever so i guess he would be the fall guy what chris carter once famously said and this is one of the fall guys for diddy allegedly i guess i mean even though he has notoriety himself and it's just weird the whole pairing between the two i don't want to get involved in that but there's a lot of skeptic things that make you don't want to cry for diddy's innocent and then there are things where you want to be like are they really trying to railroad him but as we reported cops say they found cocaine and weed in paul's travel bag and he was booked and later released we obtained another pic that shows the same gaggle of people on the tamarack you don't see diddy in a particular shot and i guess because diddy is trying not to be seen this whole thing has been weirdly weird and you know diddy recently just gave up on the rights of his ownership towards the revolt tv and this was after he gave a long gated speech about how he's going to make it the new frontier of melanated television the revolution will be televised the revolution will be televised 
Today is a very, very big day. I'm here to announce my new cable network revolt. I'd first like to say thank you to Comcast, DirecTV, Cablevision, and all the other distributors to come and get down with the get down. Because of credibility, the authenticity, and the relationships. To make Revolt TV the number one name and home for music on television. Uncensored, not, not destined by the charts and who's pop. Uh, a channel that will give new artists an opportunity to get seen and to get heard. Find out. Your boy Diddy now has his own cable network. This network will represent you. Now, to see Diddy go on this long uh, gated tantrum just to eventually sell off his situation is not really sitting good with a lot of people because a lot of people feel that Diddy selling Revolt was the final step of things because he sees it all crashing down. Many people are optimistic that he can beat this, but I don't know, man. The Fed somewhat with their rate of being damn near perfect, except 0.1%. Ah, oh, it's going to be a tough one. Russell Wills, uh, I said Russell Wilson, but Russell Simmons took off to the island that he took off to let you know how serious these things could be, how little faith these people have. But man, we're going to do a separate video on Diddy's alleged drug rule. Brandon Paul is a little bit deeper things about that. Just like the fact that he was a former member of Jim Boham's uh, basically Syracuse basketball team just a lot of things that make you go hmm but this is going to be one of them things that i guess is content for people but we can't negate the fact that this is actual citizens real life being put on tv many people don't care about these celebrities because they look at it as they got money they're they got etc etc i just think we need to be right about this because if we're complicit in making a farce of the law and justice then we're no better than the cops who get involved in this just for the notoriety because if these are actual victims then everything that they're doing doing to diddy i hope they do it to other people who get the same charges and allegations as well because it seems they only reserve these military force and these outlandish media spectacles for people who look like diddy i don't know man i'm gonna leave you guys in the comment sections and meet you guys there and we can discuss things furthermore tell me how you feel about this do you think it's fair towards diddy do you think it's not fair let me know in the comment sections and i'll get back to you man i'm your guy dj bless one the best one thank you for rocking out with another episode of i smoke hip hop live love your family love your kids ladies and gentlemen and stay blessed peace Trump term, Zoe hit her with t wet <laughs> and now her panties all wet. Came back around, spin the black with sock off fat. DJ bless one.